Oh my god. Sweetness, are you home? Sweetness? There you are. This day has been... You okay? No. What's up? Tell me. Okay, I'll go first, but then you have to tell me, okay? Right, so for starters, I got a call from Grandfather while I was out. Yeah, it was really weird. He sounded... I don't know, agitated? He was talking about threats and concerns in some vague way. But he wouldn't be specific. He was clear about one thing, though. He said he didn't think we were safe here. He wants us to come back to the estate. Which, of course, I told him no thanks. We don't need his help or his protection or anything like that. Not like it was all that helpful to be there the last time. But I don't know, he just sounded... genuinely concerned. Like, I've never heard him like that before. It was weird. Maybe he's just gotten better at being emotionally manipulative. I don't know. No, of course not. I definitely don't trust him. We know he's got an agenda, but... Still, it bothered me. More than it probably should have. Yeah. Oh, but wait, it gets weirder. On my way home, I could swear I was being followed. Like, I didn't see anyone or hear anyone, but it was a feeling. My senses were on super high alert, like predator senses. And you know I don't even notice those most of the time. I know, right? I kept thinking I was picking up stuff on a different level. Like a smell, but not quite. And it was something familiar. I'm not sure. Maybe what Grandfather said got me riled up a bit, so I was paying more attention? Or maybe it was something new, I don't know. But something was up, something not good. I felt almost like something was keeping pace with me. Yeah, of course, I got home as fast as I could. Hang on, let me check something. I want to look outside. See, I don't see anyone out there, but something feels so... off. No, he didn't. That's the annoying thing. He was being so cryptic, as usual. Like, even if he was actually worried about something, he couldn't bring himself to be straight with me about it. Not even one detail, just vague worries and concerns. He's so cloak and dagger sometimes. Which makes no sense, since he should know by now I ignore that sort of thing. Okay, your turn. What do you want to tell me? What happened to you? Just now? When you were out? Something was there. Or was it someone? You sure it wasn't just the registry folks doing their usual registry stuff? They're still lurking around as much as ever. I feel like we should buy donuts for the guy in the car on the corner every morning. No, I get it. Like what I said, it happened to me. Definitely not something we're used to. Like a feeling, nothing concrete, but... Yeah, like that. That's interesting. Maybe the more control over your angel markers you get, the more in tune you are with things outside the natural order. That really sounds like what I was picking up on. A not-quite-rightness out there somewhere. Trailing along after us. Maybe we both felt the same thing. I mean, I think we should. I don't want to dismiss instincts out of hand. We might be getting these feelings for a reason. Something is going on out there. Did you stop feeling it when you got home? Me too. So whatever it is, it's not too close to here yet. I wonder what the hell we're picking up on. Or if it even knows we can feel it. I wonder... You know what it reminds me of a little bit? Remember at Grandfather's when we were attacked by that vampire and you first did the angel thing? Yeah, it reminds me a little of that. There was a distinct energy there, something pretty unique. You probably don't remember it that well. Your senses weren't as keen then. Yeah, but we never did find out who was behind that attack, did we? Not really. Okay, what I'm taking from all this is that Grandfather definitely knows something. Maybe we should go see him again. Remind him what's at stake when he's not honest with us. If someone is still after us, if it's something more dangerous than Grandfather in the registry and everything else we've been through, if it's something bad enough to actually scare Grandfather, maybe it's time to go back. What do you think? Sweetness? What's wrong? 
You look... I feel it. I feel it too. Yep. It's close now. What is that? Is it a person? More than one? I'm starting to feel... I think we need to get out of here. Angel up, babe. We might need to fight our way out. Ugh, I love it when you're way ahead of me. Come here, hold on to me. I don't think we want to fight if we can help it. We really just need to go. Crap. Hallway. Let's go. Down here. Maybe we can get out this way? Yeah, I'm with you. Here. The back stairs. What is all this stuff on the walls? Graffiti? Oh, God. That's blood. Seriously? Of course I'm sure. But it's not human blood, some sort of animal. Who did this? What the hell happened here? Sweetness, you hear that? I don't know what's happening, but we need to get out of here now. Come on. What? Why not? Which foot? Both? There's not. I don't see anything stopping you. You should be able to walk. No, nothing. That doesn't make sense. Maybe I can... Oh, God, you're really not moving. How are you stuck like this? No, I don't want to hurt you. Um... Shut up, I'm not leaving you. I'll figure this out. Keep trying to walk, I'll lift. Come on, try taking a step. You got this. Sweetness? Hey, you okay? You look... What is it? No, 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 no. No, stay with me. Come on, love, stay with me. Don't black out. Sweetness? Stay back. Mm. Oh, God. My head. Where... Where the hell are we? Sweetness? Sweetness, you there? Hey, I hear you. Where... Where are you? Hey, I'm here. Hang on. I'll try to get to you. Just keep talking. Why the hell is it so dark? Hey, I can see you. I can't reach you. There's bars in my way, but I see you. God, look at you. You okay? Hey, look here. I'm right here, sweetness. You okay? You look tied up pretty tight. Does it hurt? Can you break out? Like, with the angel power? I don't get it. Oh, look at the walls. Same symbols as before. This must be some sort of binding magic? Something that works on angels? I don't know. I don't actually know all that much about how magic works. It's all old and complicated and hasn't ever really interested me. And angel magic in particular would be going back so far, it's hard to believe any of it would still exist to be studied. But that has to be what's happening here. I don't know how else you could be held like that. Not with your power. You sure you can't do anything? Okay, it's okay. We'll find another way out. I mean, they left me alive and put me where I can see and talk to you, so I'm gonna have some hope. Maybe I can find something to throw at you so you can cut the ropes. I don't see anything promising. Do you see anything on your side? Can you move your chair this way, maybe? Like, hop towards me? Damn. Worth a shot. Okay, there have to be other options. I'm gonna look for a weakness in these bars. No, not really. I don't think the sigils have any effect on me. I still feel as strong and fast as ever. They must have just overpowered me the old-fashioned way. I think they knocked me out. I can't imagine I got this bump on my head by accident. But the headache is going away, so that's something. Okay, let me just... Nope. Um... What do you think they want with us? Or with you, I should say. 
Yeah, I'm getting culty vibes too. And the energy, the smell, the pulse of this place, it does remind me of that vampire that attacked us. I think I was right on the money with that. And then this time around, ancient arcane magic, lots of preparation before they came for us. They've clearly been planning this for a while. I guess Grandfather got wind of it, just not enough to give us a solid warning. Oh, I wish he'd been more straightforward. Might have come in handy. No, the Registry's toothless where we're concerned right now. Unless they're somehow linked to this cult, but if they were, I can't imagine it would be a love match. Using each other to an end, maybe, but that's it. Which I guess is possible. I feel... I don't know. I just feel like this is something else. These people have been on us for a while. We probably shouldn't have thought the attack at Grandfather's would be the only one, but... I guess I just got distracted as time went by. Distracted and maybe overconfident, you know? With going to see my mom and then with your powers, it felt like we were having a fairly normal life again and no one would be stupid enough to touch us. I never even thought about the magic angle, which makes me a very stupid vampire for ignoring her roots. Well, yeah, sure, the magic goes back a long way. Remember when I told you that creating a new vampire the old-fashioned way is hard? That's because it is. It's not just a bite or reciprocal bites. It's days of ritual. Blood sigils are just the start. And the chanting, oh god. I had to learn all about it as a kid, but it's like being forced to memorize prayers in church. You don't care what you're saying, you just want it to be over so you can go play. I never put any stock in the actual magic. I thought it was just old nonsense, like, it would work if someone tried it, but why bother? Magic didn't have a place in the modern world. And most people seem to agree with that, even other non-humans. We're all just trying to live, you know? Have normal lives and be left the hell alone? Ugh, this isn't working. Hmm. I just had a thought. I wonder if the attack at Grandfather's was really an attack. Or, like, if that's all it was. No, I mean, people knew about us, of course. Word had gotten around that the angel markers were a thing, but no one had actually seen them in action yet at that point. We didn't know what could happen with you if something triggered them. And then... That attack was what lit you up like a blazing sword of vengeance. That started the ball rolling on waking up that latent power in you. I wonder if that was the point. Maybe they were trying to trigger that response, get a look at what you could do. I don't know, maybe I'm reaching. I just need to get us out of here. How are you doing over there? Are your hands okay? Can you wiggle your fingers? Good. I don't want them to be numb. Jeez, there is nothing here that would help me get out. This is one solid cage, which figures. Sweetness? Why did they leave me alive, do you think? Come on, this can't be at all about me. I'm just a regular vampire. You're the one with the real power here. You're the one tied up and held down by magic. You're what they want. It's the only thing that makes sense. Especially since you were the one they came for the last time. Right, so why am I here? Why did they bring me? Why not just kill me? They certainly could have. I can think of really only one reason, and I'm pretty sure you've come to the same conclusion. Mm-hmm. I'm your motivation. Oh man, they must have freaked out when we got engaged. That was probably when they really understood that we're serious about each other. And it also probably put a lot of things on the table they wanted to get ahead of. Things like any kids we might have. You know, same as the registry. I guess it makes sense that they'd act now. Before we run off and elope, or go off the grid, or start making babies or something. Right, too many variables to wait any longer. So I'm here to make sure that you do what they want you to do. I'm the insurance policy to keep you in line. Because you won't want them to hurt me. You'll do anything to prevent that. Even play along with whatever these cult bastards have in mind. Yeah, it's like any superhero. Their weakness is the ones they love. Your weakness is me. Honestly, I love you to pieces. I don't care that I'm your weakness. 
I think we'll still get out of here okay, one way or the other. Yeah, but that said... Sweetness, listen to me, okay? Don't let them have their way. If they want you to hurt people or do really bad stuff, don't do it. Don't let them use you like that. I don't care whether I'm hurt. I know, but think about what I want this time. Let me have my way this once. I'm just one person, and I can handle it, remember? I'm strong. Hey, you need to remember what matters. You need to be strong, too. It's a lot bigger than us. When we met, you were just a regular human who made a pretty good roommate, even with the mushroom pizza thing. But then I fell for you, and then we found out about your angel markers. And then you saved my life so many times. We've had some amazing adventures, and I wouldn't change a minute of any of it, ever. But this is something we haven't dealt with before. If the worst happens, you have to do what's right for everyone, not just for me. Do you get me? Sweetness, I mean it. I'll be fine. Better than fine, because I love you. Don't think about anything except keeping yourself safe and keeping them from using you. Oh, one other thing. If you see a chance to escape, take it. Don't hesitate. Shh. Don't. Hesitate. I swear, you never listen to me. If you can get out alive, get the hell out alive. You can send people back for me, or I might get myself out. But you're the most important thing here. Yes, you are. Stop arguing. You goober, I swear. I love you. Wait. You hear that? Sounds like someone's coming. I smell her. The vampire who attacked us before. She's here. Along with... Is this some kind of joke? What are you doing here? <laughs>